Hello everyone, there is another video for you and today we're going to talk about this little tablet PC which is from Dell and the model is called Dell Venue 8 Pro 5855 okay the problem with it I received a lot of text message and requests they are struggling to reinstall 64-bit Windows 10 Pro somebody tried to reinstall Windows 8.1 okay what happened was somehow the Windows was not working properly so one of my client he sent it to me by post he want me to make the video and uh, to help others and to help him at the same time so I'm going to show you first of all let's do some uh, basic reviews what is in there and what kind of equipments and devices that we need to perform these tutorials okay so first of all as you can see this uh, Benu 8 Pro Dell tablet PC it has only one I mean one port so as you can see there is only C type C port which is female one and charging port at the same time and uh, headphone jack power button volume up volume down windows start key and obviously there is a slot for micro sd and cellular sim card slot okay so obviously if you want to reinstall any system first of all what you need to think about the sources okay so in this machine the best source is uh, usb flash drive but the problem is how you're going to connect it so to get the solution i got one of them it's very simple and easy to get less than 10 pound any uh, site example Amazon or you can try on eBay okay this is non-branded you try if you try your best brand is okay but for me this is all right so as you can see there are type uh, <coughs> USB 3.0 version which one doesn't make any difference so if you have 2.0 3.0 USB port is fine and here is another Windows 10 Pro in there. Uh, okay, I downloaded it from Microsoft website. You know, if you search on uh, YouTube about how to create bootable USB drive for Surface Pro 4 to 6, I think this is same compatible. So you don't need to worry. Just search how to create a USB bootable USB thumb drive for microsoft surface pro 4 then you can find it anyway i'll try to put the link below okay so let's start so first of all make sure this is fully charged because you know to reinstall the system it burns a lot of energy okay so first what and obviously this mouse forget about the keyboard but the mouse you definitely need it because once you go to the actual main installation uh, screen the touch would be disabled okay because the graphics wouldn't work anymore that time okay so first i'm going to connect my bootable windows 10 usb into usb port and then obviously i'm going to put external mouse which is wireless i'm going to connect in right here okay okay so in this one it's already recognized because windows is fine just for tutorial purpose i made it down like that but for you once you connect it and if you turn it off and turn it on you will see the next screen which one is coming into this video now okay so now we're going to start the main process first let's turn it off or let's say your windows is not loading up properly so how are you going to turn it off just press and hold uh, the power button i'm going to turn it off like that turning off okay it seems uh, completely off as you can see there is no indicator okay but still I'm gonna wait for a couple of seconds just to make sure completely the power is drained out okay so now when your USB bootable Windows USB is connected and your mouse what are you gonna do you're gonna press and hold volume up which is that one press and hold and press the power button so in that way it will take you directly to the boot menu let's check sometimes it takes time okay okay if it doesn't then what you should do you can do another thing turn it on first yeah and then press the volume up
already yeah, this is this is very standard okay you're gonna fish to this anyway okay. sometimes it does happen when you connect USB hub to connect more than one USB devices into your Dell Benny 8 Pro 5855 it gives you warning like that to install the driver for the new device so let's see first okay and then we'll try to reinstall it okay, okay we're gonna do exit no no I don't want to continue testing we're gonna do exit yes now I'm gonna press volume up again okay now power button just to turn it on and then I'm pressing volume up so now preparing one time boot menu see okay so what I did I turn on next second I press and hold the volume up and then I release it and that's what it took me to the boot menu as you can see there are two boot option one is Windows boot manager okay so if you your Windows is damaged might be you're not gonna see it but you could see it it's not a problem and the second one there says UEFI SanDisk which is that one as you can see SanDisk okay so now I'm gonna go down first how I'm gonna go down let's check if my mouse does work no it doesn't that's not a problem touch also doesn't work as I told you earlier okay now this says this is volume down to select volume up to scroll so I'm gonna press volume up which is that one yeah now I'm gonna press volume down just to select it so once I press volume down the system will start from this USB so let's do that start now the system will restart and you will see the window installation screen on it it will take a couple of seconds it could be take a couple of minutes it depend on how damaged your previous windows system is you know okay. but anyway this one have only uh, 2 gb of ram so i don't expect more faster than that but still it's good because of the built-in ssd in there okay so it's reloading So normally you know you know, from the ISO file when you create a bootable USB uh, Windows 10 you can try this also it should work okay so as you can see now my external mouse is working I don't know you can see the focus one second because the screen is very glossy you know so as you can see now if I choose the language you know what to do it's very simple I'm gonna choose United Kingdom I'm gonna hit on next one second and after that install starting we'll finish the video within few seconds because what we do what we need to do in the next everybody knows anyway so let's see what happened okay so sometimes it gets stuck in here but don't worry don't do anything you should have patience because if you try to restart you make it mess okay as you can see there is a little like a mouse is moving that's mean everything is fine it's not frozen it's just reading the file to get it ready okay so still I'm waiting for it okay so the, this is the terms and condition we accept it and we go to next then fresh custom install and now you're gonna choose okay so I'm gonna close the video in here it's very simple if you are on a fresh installation you can delete every single partition that you can see and if you don't want to delete then just format one of the partition example if you don't want to delete the image partition which is recovery then you just go to partition 3 if your one is more space in there and just hit on format then you can reinstall it but if you are totally fresh delete every single partition and then hit on next then the main process will begin 
okay? As I can see, the screen is not responsive. It doesn't mean that is uh, somehow damaged or broken. I think there is no any drivers, okay? So we're gonna sort it out, we'll see. As you can see, there is a little icon which is Wi-Fi one, sorry, yeah. So that's really good because we can update the drivers, okay? And already I take the screenshot for the service tech, I mean. Okay, which is already in the BIOS, we can find out. Okay, we found already in the earlier clip, okay. So how I'm gonna use it now, this is not responsive. That's the reason why I use this port, okay. So I'm gonna connect the USB hub into the C port. Fine. Okay, and they are already my Logitech uh, wireless mouse already connected. As you can see now, it does work. There is a little icon. So I'm gonna connect fast into Wi-Fi. Okay. okay, at the same time I need on the screen keyboard. Okay, let me find it. More details. One second. Or I don't need to worry that much what I can do. I can use my keyboard. Let's check, hopefully it should work. Fine, it does work. Eh? So the USB keyboard also connected what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put my Wi-Fi password okay but before we do that I want to get into device manager and see how what's the condition with uh, one second. let me close it okay right click on the PC and go to manage and from here the device manager will pop up within a second hopefully yes if you go to device manager we can see as you can see a lot of drivers need to be up to date right now uh, there is a mouse which is that one but touch is not enabled yet so first we need to connect into Wi-Fi okay so let's go into Wi-Fi okay so the Six, Q, four, D Let's connect it. It's connecting. Yeah, it seems it's connected. So let me try in that way to update the driver because that's the most simple way, simple and easy way. You don't need to visit any website, okay. It's coming up, go to device manager, try to update it in that way, right click and then search automatically, hopefully they will find it, okay. So let's see what happened. So as you can see, this is installing okay so multimedia controller driver already installed let's see if the touch does work still not might be i need to uh, restart it okay as you can see few of them up to date now i'm going to go to next one okay try to update every single one of them okay it should take Loading. more drivers downloading at the same time I'm installing Google Chrome because that's the browser that I do like okay okay so I'm gonna pause the video right now I'll update all of them one by one okay hopefully all of them will get up to date it once it's done then I will restart it and see how much it functional or not
Okay, so there are a few more left. All, all of them says, as you can see, it says unknown device. Okay, it seems like you can feel it. it might be you don't need all of them, but you never know. That could be your touch, that could be Bluetooth, that could be audio driver, you know. So keep doing it. Keep doing it. So there are only two left, which is unknown device. Okay, so I'm going to update it too. Okay. The reason I'm doing it in that way because normally people uh, most of the user what they do they go to the official website they download the file and they install it manually if you do that in that way you're gonna just fill up the space because this is tablet PC obviously there is not enough space so in that way when you update the drivers obviously it takes the file that you needed rest of them it doesn't okay so you yeah, see the graphics already installed yeah that's fine that's really brilliant okay see how important it was anyway so i think still a couple of them left okay let's update it and see what happened so this is the last one it's downloading and hopefully it will be finished within a minute okay then we'll test the touch is that working or not because right now i'm using external mouse okay so it's nearly done it seems quite big file installing that's good okay that was the camera sensor so it seems all of them already up to date and now see if there is lucky touch here as you can see this is working okay now even without restart it's working but anyway just to get the be best result what I'm gonna do I'm gonna restart it one second and then everything will be done so it's restarting so it's restarting it's nearly finished the battery life was impressive to be honest because it was only 50% when I started installing the windows on it okay as you can see it's totally functional if you double click double tap it should be open up okay as you can see okay so that's how you reinstall windows 10 pro or windows 10 64 bit okay it's very simple and easy and until today i i checked already youtube because the video that i make is not all about just for to gaining something it's my hobby to try to help people out because sometimes they are very silly problem but if you don't know the right procedure then you don't know how to sort it out so I try my best to make the video simple and easy and one more unique thing that I got I never edit it because if you do edit you cut the mistakes you know and obviously everybody when they try they do some mistakes so I keep some mistakes in there then from here you can learn whatever common mistakes normally people does in the tutorials each and indi individual so thank you so much for watching let me know if you have something else and that you don't know how to reinstall or any other issue i'll try my best to bring it and please if you kindly do subscribe you're never gonna miss my future videos as well thank you so much for watching and bye for now